Special Forces or Special Operations Troops are by far the well-equipped military units in the planet, and for good reason, they are prepared to be thrown into some of the most dangerous situations, missions that are literally life or death. They are well equipped to carry out unusual or unconventional covert missions related to a country's security goals. From Pakistan's Black Storks to the famed SAS of the United Kingdom, watch on to find out the top 10 countries with the best elite forces in the world. Let's begin. Number 10. Special Naval Warfare Force Spain Spain's Naval Special Warfare Force, as it has been known since 2009, has long been regarded as one of Europe's most prestigious special forces. Founded in 1952 as the Voluntary Amphibious Climbing Company Unit, it has now followed in the footsteps of the SAS to become an elite fighting force. The Special Operations Unit was in charge of maritime counterterrorism, combat diving, air and amphibious infiltration, combat search and rescue, and shipboarding. They assisted in Operation Enduring Freedom in the Indian Ocean by storming a northern Korean ship carrying Scud missiles to Yemen. They then rescued a French captive from Somali pirates in 2011, and that's just what the general public knows. Like the other elite groups on this list, the majority of their operations were classified. Number 9. JW Grom Poland JW Grom is one of the world's most elite special forces and one of six special operations units under Poland's Special Troops Command. Because of their extensive medical training and mission effectiveness, Grom personnel have acquired the nickname The Surgeons. It was founded in 1990. During its early years, Grom was inspired by other special forces such as the British SAS, the United States Delta Force, and the SEALs. Grom conducts rescue missions, including hostage retrieval, as well as counterinsurgency operations. They are well versed in firearms and a range of military specialties such as parachuting, amphibious insertion, diving, pyrotechnics, and vehicle handling. Grom more than lives up to its name when it comes to combating terrorists or war criminals. Number 8. JTF-2 Canada The Joint Task Force 2, or JTF-2, is Canada's Special Operations Force, famed for its secrecy. It was established in 1993 primarily for counterterrorism activities, both within and outside Canadian borders. JTF-2 is also adept in hostage rescue and special recon. Despite its newness, the JTF-2 has participated in many high-profile missions in Haiti and Afghanistan. Their deployment to Afghanistan following the United States declaration of war on terror in 2001 was so covert that even the Canadian Prime Minister was supposedly unaware of their presence. On March 23, 2006, a small unit of JTF-2 freed three Christian peacemaker team human rights activists who had been kidnapped in Iraq. Together with British SAS and information from U.S. agencies, JTF-2's involvement in that operation was lauded by both the Pentagon and the British Foreign Office. Number 7. SSG or Black Storks, Pakistan The Special Services Group SSG, better known in the country as the Black Storks because of the commando's unique headgear, was founded in 1956 by uniting two Pakistani army regiments, the 17th and 19th Baloch regiments. If a 36-mile march in 12 hours and a 5-mile run in full gear in 20 minutes is required for training for the Pakistani Special Services Group, then holy shit, SSG training designed to combat terrorism, extremism, and separatism, comprises of rigorous physical conditioning in airborne school, a 25-week commando camp, and hand-to-hand -hand combat training. According to reports, just 5% of recruits finished the brutal training. The Black Storks had just 100 men at the fight in Afghanistan when they dressed as Mujahideen, the assaulted Russian Spetsnaz units. They triumphed despite the fact that the opposition had an elevation advantage on their positions and outnumbered them. In another occasion, only 100 SSGs swept three towns and SWAT district of 2,000 Taliban in just two days. Number 6. Guin, France The enemy has evolved, and so has the Guin. Their job is to reach to the scene of an assault as swiftly as possible, then capture or kill the perpetrators before they cause additional havoc. Few counter-terrorism troops can match the France's National Grand Mirror Intervention Group, Guin. The organization consists of 200 men who have been particularly trained to respond to hostage situations. Since its inception in 1973, they claim to have liberated over 600 persons. It is illegal in France to publish photographs of their faces. Their training method is extremely rigorous, lasting 14 months. Assuming recruits survive that long, one documentary crew tracked a group of 120 potential recruits as they were cut down to 18 in two weeks. It has one of the world's finest marksmanship schools, weapons handling, and aerial courses such as halo jumps hand-to-hand -hand fighting, diving, survival training, and explosive ordnance disposal. Number 5. Sayerit Maktel Israel 
Israel's Sayerich Maktel, sometimes known as Unit 269, is a highly classified special operations brigade with nearly legendary reputation. Sayerich Maktel has built a reputation for deep surveillance, counterterrorism, and hostage retrieval missions since its founding in 1957. They rely on concealment, striking in tiny groups and disguise, then vanishing before the enemy understands what had occurred. One of its most memorable missions was the Entebbe Rescue in 1976, when terrorists seized an Air France jet carrying 250 people from Tel Aviv to Paris. The non-Israeli passengers were released, but there were still 106 captives. The rescue effort took a week to prepare and slightly more than an hour to carry out. They were successful in infiltrating the local army, killing the terrorists, and rescuing all but four of the captives. That's the thing about Sayeret Matkal. Once you realize it's there, you're already out of time. Number 4. Spetsnaz Russia The origins of Russia's fearsome Spetsnaz are shrouded in secrecy, but they can be traced back to the Red Bolshevik Guard a paramilitary group formed during the height of the Russian Revolution in the early 20th century. The majority of its personnel are similar to U.S. Army Rangers, although a select handful trained like Delta Force. They had a conventional foundation of battlefield reconnaissance, disrupting adversary chains of command and lines of supplies, and targeting the opponent's tactical weaponry and advantages. But one difference between them and U.S. operators is their ability to mix and match their weapons. They are in a completely different level than the rest, since they are trained to relish torture and to never be captured alive. They truly do not fear death. It makes no difference if they are shot, bleeding, or have shrapnel in their bodies. They like the pain and will fight until their blood runs cold. No other military group can compete with their competence, ruthlessness, or sheer willpower. Number 3. Delta Force USA Delta Elite Force is one of the world's most powerful elite special forces. The Special Forces Operational Detachment Delta is in the full name of this outfit. The addition to counterterrorism activities, this unit is involved in hostage rescue, surprise raids, and VIP security. This force was developed in response to the rising number of terrorist operations throughout the world. It is largely made up of U.S. Special Forces such as Rangers and Green Berets. Only one out of every ten people completes this demanding training. It has retained its exceptional capacity to capture or kill high-value targets, disrupt terrorist networks, and perform secret missions across all operational domains. The majority of Delta Force's missions remain classified, and it's uncommon to find an official record that even names the unit. One of the most significant triumphs was the arrest of Saddam Hussein during Operation Red Dawn. Number 2. Navy SEALs USA The United States Navy SEALs are among the world's best special operations units. To be selected for BUDS training, you must swim 500 yards in 10 minutes and 30 seconds, perform 79 push-ups, 79 sit-ups, 11 pull-ups, and run 1.5 miles in 10 minutes and 20 seconds. That is only to get in. To become a SEAL, they must first complete basic underwater demolition, parachute jump school, and SEAL qualification training, all of which have been described as brutal, followed by an additional 18 months of pre-deployment training. SEALs provide highly specialized, extremely difficult tactical skills, such as direct action combat, special reconnaissance, counterterrorism, and foreign internal defense. Navy SEALs have made their mark in conflicts ranging from the Korean War and the Vietnam War through Somalia, Operation Iraqi Freedom, and Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Inherent Resolve, and of course, the assassination of international terrorist Osama bin Laden. Number 1. Special Air Service SAS United Kingdom The Special Air Service SAS is one of Britain's oldest and possibly greatest special forces. It was founded in 1941 and was dubbed the Regiment. During the Afghan war, the British SAS played an important role. During a coordinated rescue operation with the U.S. Special Forces, codenamed Jubilee, SAS personnel successfully liberated the hostages from Badakhshan province in Afghanistan with no fatalities. SAS are the gold standard for elite forces all around the world. They train, evolve, and train some more. Their strategies are always evolving and innovative, keeping the enemy guessing. What strikes out about these individuals is their mental and physical toughness. They aren't concerned with fame or building a name for themselves. They simply want to complete a task with as few problems as possible. The strength of the British SAS may be gauged by the fact that many of the world's most potent special forces were founded on SAS standards. One good example is the American Delta Force. This brings us to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Which of the elite special forces would you want to join? Tell us in the comments. If you want some more amazing videos, they will be showing up on your screen right now. As always, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? And subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one. Bye!